everybody, it's John again. Um, I figured since I have this still set up out here, I should take a look at a couple of the larger boxes that I have yet to open. So I've got Ray's Speeder here, um, which I'm actually looking forward to open these because they've been sitting here for a little while. As you can see, there's some artwork showing off what's inside, and it's uh, Ray in her um, Jakku gear. It's the third of the Black Series vehicles. Uh, sorry for the glare. And on the back, you get some shots of what it, what you get in the inside, and a quick little synopsis here. And um, it should be a pretty cool figure. And then the other one I'm going to take a look at is Luke Speeder. The X-34 Land Speeder from Black Series. Again, same thing. You got some product shots. You got your figure. This is number two. And then on the back you have a few more product shots of what you're going to get. And a little synopsis again about the Speeder. And um, Luke looks pretty decent. And this is another one that I'm pretty excited to get open here. glare off the black. That's why I ended up changing this whole thing out is because of the uh, glare that I would that I get from this setup but um, I had to use it for the bigger boxes. Anyway enough rambling I'll get these open real quick and we'll take a closer look at these and I'll be uh, right back. These guys unboxed and here we have the speeder and we have the uh, Ray's speeder. So we got two speeders from two different eras. They need a little bit of assembling. So let's work with the Luke speeder here. First off, the paint job on these is um, fabulous. I like all the little bit of texturing they did to make it look like it's been beaten up. It's taking some damage. I know um, the what San Diego Comic Con exclusives have a engine piece in here that rotates, and yeah, that these ones do not. Like this little engine piece would rotate when you pushed a button. Not that big of a deal. Nice details in here, as you can see. All sorts of little components and wires and such. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they did put a really nice job in these. The sculpting's great, the paint is great, details are good. So if you didn't pick these up, um, you still might be able to find them. Um, I got these discounted pretty at a pretty nice price. And then this just slides into here. Just slides into there. There we go. So only the third engine is locked in. Nice dent in the front that they created right there. So it's not the best driver. It's got a lot of weathering on it. And along with that, of course, you got Luke, whose uh, face sculpt is pretty good. I think it's better than the other one. It's not the best likeness to Mark Hamill, but it's a pretty good Luke face. And he comes with his poncho. And you can take the poncho off, and then he's got his normal farm boy outfit. And I believe he's got double jointed, yep, double jointed elbows. He's got all the normal Black Series articulation, waists, crunch, head and neck rotation, double jointed knees, um, hinged and rocker ankles. So, really good articulation on these guys. And it's really not that bad of a face. So I'm going to put his poncho back on because I kind of like it. And he should be able to sit in the speeder. It's in there pretty good. And then can he reach the steering wheel? I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of detail in here. Steering wheel and a shifter. And can his arms actually reach any of them? Well, he can kind of touch the shifter, but it doesn't feel like his arms want to reach the steering column. And I don't 
don't know. He, it looks like he's got a, having a hard time reaching that, but yeah, who knows with the poncho on here? You can't tell really. And then it also comes with this, which is the windshield, and that just pops on. Let's see, the poncho gets in the way a little bit. But there we go. And then you can easily take that off so you can get the figures in and out. And I think, is that the only opening? Nope, these guys open too, don't they? So you got a little storage compartments in the back. This one has some more engine stuff in it. Maybe exhaust. So, it's kind of neat and nice that they put all that stuff in there. Yeah, the bottom's pretty plain. And the bottom is where they put all the uh, text, which is nice, unlike on the other one, which we'll get to. And it also comes with this stand that plugs into the bottom. Kinda. There it goes. Which gives it that hover effect. So it appears that he is hovering. And he came with an assortment of stuff as well. This little comes with uh, maybe a Banta gun. Huge rifle that you can mount on here. Maybe. There it goes. Clips in pretty good. And it comes out really easy. So I guess you kind of got to just have it sitting on the side. I was wondering if maybe you could fire from the off the edge there. But you also have a little sun hat that'll fit on Luke's head. His binoculars that have a little belt clip. Oh man. Well, I'm not going to clip them on right now. We're going to put them in this little storage unit. That's the uh, nice little details on these guys. I don't want to lose them. So we'll put them in. And he also comes with a lightsaber. And I'm not sure... doesn't... nope. It doesn't feel like the blade comes out. So he has a always lit lightsaber. I'm just going to sit behind him in that seat right there for now. So that's really nice. They did an awesome job on this thing. Um, can't wait to see the Dubacks, I believe, are coming out pretty soon. As well as Tarkin, hopefully. And then Ray Speeder also needs a little bit of constructive work. It's also got a really nice coloring, cool paint job to it, nice little weathering effects from it, pieces just hanging off. Um, a lot of text on this side though that they could have probably put on the bottom as well. Um, little exhaust ports, uh, these guys move over here. It looks like it's been cobbled together. It's pretty nice. And then you got a door over here that opens up so you can work on the engine if you need. Or you can take the whole side off like so to get in here. And do even maybe more maintenance if need be. That's kind of cool. Now we've got... Her little net. Seems like it wants to come off. Get that back on there. There it goes. So we got some junk. It's got a little bit of gold paint on it. That looks like she is collected. And it pegs in here in one way. Maybe. Peg holes don't seem to line up. Now you're going to make 
may have to look at the instructions. This goes in this way. Yeah, the pig holes don't seem to line up. Oh, I missed a compartment I forgot about. You can also open the top up for a little bit more detail as well. It's got a little bit of paint spatter on it. Now why? Maybe is it warped? Is that what's going on? I might have to warm it up. Kind of warped. But now it's on there. And then this net is supposed to be able to cover over top on these hooks. And this one is going to be a tight fit. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. Almost. Well, I think we can call that on there. So there, it is now full of junk. They were also nice enough to give us a stand for this one as well, which is this kind of textured plastic that looks like maybe some kind of mist or steam rolling off of it. And that just plugs into the bottom. Ooh, that's a pretty rough fit. Right. Wow, that's not going on real easy. All right, I gotta lift it over here. Get a little bit more pressure. Oh, damn. But it's on there. Okay, so now it hovers as well. And of course you can't have the speeder without a ray. So we got Ray and her Jakku outfit, which has some cloth goods on it, which are nice. And she's looks pretty much like all of your standard Rays. She's got a little bag on there. Um, same articulation, single jointed elbows on her because they're showing. He's got double jointed elbows because they're covered, which is a, I don't know, a really weird thing. Does her face mask come off? Nope, she has no eyes. So they just took a raised head and glued on her top piece, her, her headdress and her goggles. Nice texturing on the boots. And she can stand, but the question is can she drive? And she comes with a very delicate piece, her face cover, which is probably going to be hopefully not eaten by the carpet. And she also has a backpack. Which it's got to have a peg on it somewhere, or nope, it just loosens up, okay. Uh, let's see if we can slide this on and wrong. Maybe. Oh yeah, it goes on pretty easy. Thanks to those crazy rotating elbows. And she has her backpack on. This face cover should be molded to her face, I believe. Fits. Doesn't feel like it's going to stay on, but it doesn't look like it's going to come off. And she also has her staff. I'm not going to worry about right now, but let's see if we can get her on here as well. Well, Again, there's a lot of nice details on here. Can the handles come forward? Oh, they do. There we go. That's kind of nice. So, can she fit? Oh, they got even a peg for her foot. And it doesn't want to fit. <laughs> this side. Kind of on there. I just want to see if she can hold on to, well she probably can hold on to that.
Yeah, she can hold it. So she fits on there pretty good. Stick her staff in there. Oh, the little exhaust ports pop off. I wasn't expecting that. And it also has a dent, so, you know, they're not the best drivers. So there we have the two Black Series vehicles that we got, what was it, last, last year now? And they, I believe they came out for Force Friday, so what was that, November or so? But they got a lot of nice little hidden details and touches on them. The, like the radiator here is all bent up. So she's definitely seen some wreckage. And they display very well. So thanks to those stands, you can get some different angles on this thing. So they were definitely worth, I think I paid 22 for each of them. Which I... But they originally were 50. So, hopefully, we get some more. Um, I do not have that dang gigantic TIE fighter. I don't know what I'd do with it if I picked it up. Um, these guys are going to take a lot of shelf, shelf space themselves, but they're pretty interesting. Um, which one's your favorite? Uh, the Ray Speeder or the Luke Speeder? Um, man, the Ray Speeder is really cool. I like love the Luke Speeder, but I don't know. Something about the color. And the way this thing moves, that's pretty cool. I think that this one displays really nice. Yeah, overall they're great. So good job, guys, and hopefully we'll see some more cool vehicles pretty soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys later, hopefully. I've been working a lot of hours, so some of these are a little bit behind, and um, I apologize for the slow upload of videos but I've been just working constantly so hope you can bear with me here for a little while and maybe I can pick up a little bit more as time goes on but thanks for watching subscribe if you can and uh, let me know what your thoughts are on these and I'll see you later bye Time for